What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Josh back with another video and if you guys are new to my channel and you're not subscribed please go down and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell and click that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm so your boy can keep growing. Anyways today in this video I'm going to be taking you guys to my suite. Um, I just got me a suite finally. That's really what I've been doing like the past week or two getting that situated. That's why I haven't dropped. Um, that's where I left off at on my last video. I was in the process of getting my suite situated, finding me a spot, you know, in the city. And I finally found one. I got my Georgia's Barber license, you know, officially. They sent it over for your boy. And I got my LLC, you know what I'm saying? Josh X Barber LLC, you know, making major business moves. I got some dope coming for y'all soon. So, you know, stay tuned. And today we're gonna just go over there to the suite and put some stuff in there. I got some stuff that I'm gonna take over there. I can't take everything yet because the suite isn't completely renovated. Um, we have to get it painted. We're gonna paint the room all white. And um, once we get everything situated on that aspect, then I'll move everything in. Today I have a couple things, but I'm gonna show y'all that once I get out the shower and throw my fit on. And then we're gonna head over to the suite. Yo, so we're about to get ready to head out. This right here is some of the stuff that I'm gonna be taking to the shop. Nothing major, everything right here is mostly like small and it won't take up too much room while we're getting the room redone. I still got my barber chair right here at the crib. I'm not gonna take it over there yet cause it might be in the way. I don't wanna get any paint on it or anything. So I'm about to get ready to put this stuff in the whip and then we're gonna head to the suite. My suite is located in Buckhead. Um, it's like close to Linux, probably like five minutes away from Linux, man. It's around that area. It's a nice area. I was glad that I found this spot. Really, I thought it was going to be harder than that to find a spot. I ended up getting a double suite with me and my dog, K Cutter. His name is at K Cutter on IG. And I think it's going to be dope, man. It's in a good area. You know, the first part of my season down here in ATL, so you don't have to start somewhere. Really had to get a feel for the city man I'm, I'm excited we signed a one-year lease so i'm gonna be in this spot for a year and um we'll see where it go from here if you guys follow me on instagram i know y'all seen me um link up with your boy little baby man i got to get little baby fresh for his one of them ones tour with chris brown and atl it was a dope experience i mean like the whole day and, and the crazy thing about it it was my birthday my birthday was on august the 10th that wednesday man last week on wednesday Man, like, it was a it was a good birthday present, man. Shout out to my guy, Vic Blends, man. Y'all seen him. If y'all seen me on Instagram too, man, I chopped up Vic Blends. Make sure if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go up and follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber. Like you guys see on the top of this video, um, I do a lot of dope stuff on Instagram too. I just really been getting everything situated as far as business before I really be able to get, you know what I'm saying, comfortable and start back recording like always because I've had a lot of clients hit me up too wanting to get in my chair. So I got a lot of new people, new clients, whole new vibe on the channel coming, man. We're down to ATL and we locked in. I'll see y'all when we get to the suite. Hey y'all, man, I came to my car with a um, with a warning sticker on it, I guess. I'm glad I ain't getting no ticket, man. I really, really been hoping not to get a ticket because I've gotten like two since I've been down here and they be taxing, bro. It be like $75 um, per ticket, man. You know what I'm saying? I be like, bro, like who wants to just go out somewhere, 
grab something to eat, come back to their car, and they got a ticket for $75. Like, what? That's, like, unnecessary. I'm glad that I didn't get a ticket, but I'm mad that they put it on my window. And as y'all can see, man, it left, like, little sticky stuff from the sticker. And now I have to, like, get some alcohol or something and, like, wipe it off, bro. Like, it took me, like, 10 minutes to get that sticker off all the way. The crazy thing is, though, I wasn't inside the building more than, like, three minutes for real each trip. I took three trips to go in and out the building because my stuff was in the trunk and I didn't want to, well, I, did, I, I can't say I didn't. I couldn't carry all that stuff at one time, so I had to go in and out. So that means somebody was watching me or somebody caught me, like, right when I was going in and they put a sticker on there, came back, and it was just a warning, though. So I'm glad it was just a warning and it wasn't a ticket. I've been trying to avoid them at all costs. But down here, like going to certain places, man, it's like no parking. And if it is parking spot, it's already filled. So you gotta like find somewhere close by or just pay for parking. So if you don't, when you're in Atlanta, man, make sure that if there's like no pay toll booth for the parking and it says no reserve parking because if not, you're gonna come back with a ticket for sure. So yeah, that was a suite, y'all. Um, it's pretty big, it's gonna be nice. I mean, I like the area, man. It's cool, chill. It's really like ducked off too. So once we get done with it getting painted and everything, your boy gonna be moving in and it's back to the haircut tutorials for sure. I'm gonna be vlogging more since I've been down here, man. I've been linking up with some dope people. It's just, you know, it's only up from here. And I appreciate you guys for your support. If you've been watching me, you know, no matter if you just started watching me or you've been watching me for the past three years, I appreciate you. Um, I couldn't be where I'm at without you guys. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. You can turn that notification bell on if you haven't and if you're new to the channel because I got some dope content that's gonna be coming out, man. I got a lot of things in motion down here. You never know what's next, man. God just been watching over me since I've been down here in Atlanta. I'm in a whole new city, a bigger city, and it seems like, you know, everything is coming together for me step by step, but I'm gonna stay humble with it and just take it one day at a time like I've been doing, just, you know, growing in life for real. I mean, I'm just 22 years old. My birthday just passed. So if you were on Instagram and you told me happy birthday, I appreciate you. I didn't really like make a YouTube video about it being my birthday or whatever. I wanna leave you guys with some motivation. If you guys have dreams that you're not working on, I want you to stop sleeping on yourself and start waking up every day and try to write down the goals for your dreams. It, it won't happen overnight, but you have to put one foot forward. So I want you guys to at least write out, you know what I'm saying, your plan for your dream. If you have a dream, Go look up and break it down. Like, what are all the steps that you need to take to make it come to reality and really just start taking control of life? But we really think that we have no control over it. And it's like, oh, I got bills on my kids or all the sacrifices. Life is not easy. Life is what you make it. Where you are in life today is based on the decisions that you made in your past. Um, life is a series of cause and effect. That's why anything we do has a positive or negative effect on us we have to start moving with intention you have to wake up every day and say this is what i'm going to do have your day planned out run through your goals because in a little to no time you're going to be exactly where you want to be at in your life if you really just tap in and slow down and start taking control of your life and you really got to have faith a lot of people believe in god but they don't have the faith and they don't have the hope and they don't trust him god said Faith without works is dead. So that means that we can have all the faith in the world and believe that we're gonna reach the heights that we're gonna see, but if we don't put no work in it, it's not gonna happen. God isn't just gonna lift you to where you wanna be. He wants to see you put trust and effort into whatever you're doing and believe in it and see it through and manifest it and God is gonna give it to you. It may not come in the time that you want it to. It might be some troubles along the way. It's definitely, that's what life is. God said he's gonna put us through troubles on this world. But don't worry, because I have already conquered the world. So he wants you to just go through and build character. When you're going through hard times in life, it's really for you to build character and build strength for your next season of life. And I want you guys to stand on that and just believe in yourself and chase your dreams. Don't sleep on yourself. I know y'all been seeing those new Babylon Snap FX trimmers and clippers. I think I'm gonna just cop the trimmers. I was gonna go buy them today, but I'm gonna hold off on them because I got a lot of other things to get situated. And those trimmers are $300. And I really like them though. I'm gonna get them probably once I get more into the motion of cutting in the shop. I'm gonna go grab them and uh, I'm gonna do a review on them too for you guys. I was gonna go over there, but I'm just gonna go back to the crib, edit this video, and uh, eat me some lunch, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I can't wait to get back in the suite so I can show y'all some more dope haircuts. Tap in with your boy. I'll see y'all later.